Hi, this is Linda Shea with Drilling Contractor. I'm reporting from the 2017 IADC World Drilling Conference in Amsterdam. Joining me today are Sarah Bala Nalibun with Maersk Drilling and Sana Zainuna with National Oil Wall Varco. They made a joint presentation at the conference about how wire drill pipe was installed on a jackup in the Norwegian North Sea. I'll start with you, uh, Sarah. What were some of the challenges that were anticipated on this field that led to the implementation of wire drill pipe uh, on this jackup? Oh, well, first of all, there were some hole stability issues due to unconsolidated sands uh, that were very sensitive to borehole pressure fluctuations. And secondly, there was a very narrow mud weight window and uh, also very challenging borehole uh, placement because of long horizontal sections that needed to be geosteered. And finally, there was a real need to have efficiency in the drilling process to reduce the open hole time and yet have a clean borehole for the open hole completions run. Um, wire drill pipe was able to address these challenges because with the instantaneous uh, telemetry, you're able to eliminate the need for um, flow, for example, when doing downlinks. And it's also good for vibration control because you had the possibility to place sensors along the string, which gave you really the full picture of the vibrations downhole. You could mitigate them in real time. And also geosteering was a big plus. You're able to give that instantaneous downlink and uh, steer the well smoothly. Finally, uh, there was the memory quality data available at surface. So in case of a loss in hole incident, you had the memory uh, data available for further planning of the well. So besides the wired pipe, what were some of the other key technologies that were installed on the rig for this project? As I mentioned earlier, we had vibration sensors along the string, so along string measurements tools, um, and they could also take pressure measurements as well. We used something called an enhanced measurement sub, which could give a downhole weight on bit reading in very high frequency to be able to be used by the drilling control system. We did a slight modification to the cyber based control system to enable us to use some optimization apps, and uh, finally, we added a screen to the HMI or the human machine interface for the driller to interact with the optimization and automation apps. Sana, can you tell us about the applications in which these technologies were deployed? We installed four different applications for the field trial. The first one was a smart visualization. As Sarah mentioned, we deployed more tools in the string. And when you have so many measurements, the data can become overwhelming. So there was a need for a way to understand and act upon the data in a smart way. So we had an enhanced viewer for the optimization engineer to make advice. Then we had a torsional vibration mitigation system installed on the top drive. And that was a very successful deployment also. In the third application was a downhole weight auto driller, where you get the downhole measurement from the EMS tool at high speed and high frequency. And the driller was able to visualize the downhole weight, the surface weight, and the surface weight, weight on bit set point. So that was a great way to eliminate drag as he could then adjust the set point depending on the downhole measurement. Finally, we had an automated optimization service, which adjusts automatically the weight on bit and RPM to provide the best ROP and MSC. And what were some of the results that were achieved? First of all, we had a very safe and successful integration thanks to the work provided by all the parties included. And then we were successful in proving surface automation, advanced surface automation, with a reduction of 22% in MSC in the section where we compared the driller performance against the machine performance. And finally, over the drilling of the three oil producers, we managed to increase the net sand by 1,000 meters, and that resulted in drilling one less well. I have to admit that this wasn't due to the surface automation, and this was mostly due to the wired pipe telemetry along with some enhanced LWD and other technologies. But this was a very successful and a great story. Thank you, ladies, for telling us about this project. And thank you, viewers, for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.